did the work. Good evening and welcome to the Deerfield Board of Health Select Board meeting September 26, 2018 at 715 here at the Municipal Offices in South Deerfield. Uh, would you all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, this meeting is being recorded. Uh, we have no minutes from our last meeting to approve. And we do have a hearing, but it's not until 7.30. So it's actually we, not a hearing. It's just a point. Hearings and appearance. Okay. I'm sorry. That's all right. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll stop reading that. Okay. <laughs> uh, so why don't, do you want to move down to uh, discussion items that we can kind of go through? Sure. Okay. Uh, first thing is uh, accept the resignation, effective 12-1 of 18 of the library director, Sarah Woodbury. I make a motion we accept that. With regret. With regret. <laughs> and, and gratefulness. And, and Good luck in your Gratitude. retirement. That's a second. Okay. That's a second. Yep. So any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, discuss for our next meeting policy on sewer abatements. So yep. um, this is something that's going to take more time. It's, it's part of the issue is that there's not enough time during a week to do this. So I'd love to set up side I, I still need or we still somebody needs to meet with the water department we can't really move forward with a policy on abatements uh, i've been doing a lot of reading online about multiple towns and how they handle this um, and and this means the um the abatements that certain residents ask for for when they water the lawn and they get caught in that water meter reading uh they're watering the lawn still late in the season when it may be dry, not this year. <laughs> they could shut them off, yes, three months ago, it'd be fine. Um, but w they get caught in the middle of putting water on the lawn and they feel they shouldn't have to pay for that because it doesn't go down the sewer. So there's, you know, there's a lot of, um, um, there's a lot of opinions on, on, you know, what should be done. Ma many towns don't do anything. It's there's no abatements, there's absolutely, you, you know, that is what it is. Um, so one way or the other, you have to pay for your sewer, your sewer system. So whether it's, um, and, and, and many towns, the water department is part of the town, and so is the sewer. So in our town, we're separate. So we have no control over when the, when the readings happen. Um, we don't charge for the reading. Of the, of the meters, so we have a policy of we use their water usage and, and, um, and, and that's, that's what we use to base their sewer bill. So if we're gonna change that by any means, um, the cost has to come somewhere to run the system. So one way or the other, maybe somebody will save a little bit on their abatement, but they're gonna pay more in the long run for, for running the system. We have major upgrades we need to do and you know, just the everyday operation and maintenance of, of the system throughout the year costs a lot of money. So, um, so I, I've been struggling with the idea of how do you deal with this? And it's not a simple, it's not a simple solution. There's not a simple answer. And some, some people have said, well, why don't you just put out a policy then and say you just don't know what you're doing? And we may get there. We may get to the point where this is as good as it gets until we have enough people to come together and spend a good three, four, six months looking at this policy and discussing it and researching other towns. I don't want to just throw out a policy in two weeks, three weeks, three months. People have been waiting, you know, um, since June or May um, when they've put in abatements. And we, you know, a few months ago or a month ago, I said, my opinion was to not offer abatements um, because we don't really have a policy that's other, the only policy we have in the system right now that says we don't do abatements, period, unless there's a failure of a pipe or you know, a, a water meter reading that was wrong, a meter that was bad, and that's really where we stand right now. That's, that's the policy of, of the town. So people keep coming in and asking, what about my abatement, what about my abatement? And um, 
there's so much to do <laughs> in town that it's hard to get time carved away to just focus on this one thing. And I don't feel it's fair to the people looking for an abatement and fair to the other people paying rates that aren't asking for abatements um, without spending good time to look at this policy and either change it or keep it the way it is. So um, in the short term, if we don't come up with a change or um, more people getting together as a small committee, ad hoc committee to look at this and see if there's any changes warranted, um, then we'll, we'll write a policy to say, you know, again, that there aren't abatements for, for, um, for irrigation. So that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. I don't, I haven't really gotten way in from, from you either, uh, both of you either. So I don't know, you know, where you're feeling on that either. I'm just kind of floating along sure. on my own. No, so I, I'd I love to hear what you guys no, think. No, I've, I've looked at this in the past too. And um, I didn't see it as a big problem because the number of people requesting the abatements was very small. Um, and of the abatements we did receive, uh, the requests that we did receive, uh, some of them were very legitimate, where mm -hmm. there was water pipes that were broken, uh, water meters that were broken, put in incorrectly, and stuff like that. Yep. Um, you know, and, and I, do, I do understand that there have been a few people that pay a lot of money, but you know, in the majority of South Deerfield, it would not be a big expense for some people to put in their own pump in a point and get their water to irrigate their lawns right from the ground below. I mean, most of South Deerfield, you can dig down 15 feet and have, you know, a good six, seven feet of water in that well. Mm -hmm. um, but I know that might not be practical for everyone. But um, I, I, I tend to agree with you. I, uh, it's gonna take some time because no matter what you have for a policy, there's always gonna be variations. There and, is. And, and that's difficult because then once you start bending a little bit for this person, then this person's gonna expect, expect the same type of leeway. And uh, I don't there know. There were also bigger ideas, you know, that were floated of, and you know, I'm open to any idea and open to listen and learn. Um, some of the bigger ideas was to, to, to have, um, you know, this is grand, but to have the town take over the water department uh, by vote, have the town take over every single septic system in the town, and yeah. the uh, so that so that everybody paid a certain amount to take care of wastewater in the whole town, and that's that's a grand idea. It's it's completely different than most other places, but it's something that people are throwing out as ideas to to look at this and think about and. You know, because we have we have expenses coming up with our know, sewer. Trevor, I, I, I bet your phone is ringing off the hook already. <laughs> That's all right. I bet it is too. Oh my God. So no, but I'm going to lay out. These are the ideas that people are coming to us with. So I want to lay them out so people understand. You know, they can hear phone calls too, or they can. You know, this is what we deal with. This is what we hear, and these are the ideas that people have. And I'm not saying they're right, they're wrong, they're whatever, but they're they're out there. So. Um, I don't know how you'd ever implement something like that. You know, private property, all of that. Um, it makes sense if you're maybe a city or something like that, but it, you know, it's hard to imagine that you would do something like that. But that's, that's, those are the thoughts. So. I, I think um, before we get too along the lines into the deep into the budget year, I think it would be kind of nice to get together with the water department just to have a meeting I've so requested. we can talk about communication and mm -hmm. um, just, uh, you know, talk to each other face to face because, right. uh, you know, uh, you know, we get complaints and we get, um, and, and Wendy passes on stuff to, from, uh, from them to us and back and forth. And I just, I just think it would be nice to have a, a And I'd meeting. like to hear what they're dealing with, yeah. you know, and, and to understand. So right. I've requested um, a meeting. At, Wendy's been buried. We're trying to kind of nail that down, and oh, I'll okay. reach out. We'll, well, I, I we'll get something good, together yeah. uh, I think that's soon. A good but I just didn't want people uh, kind of hanging on this abatement because it's it's too complicated to just to just um, change it up ended, and it just it, you know no, it may satisfy four or five people, but you're upsetting you know 800 others. So um, I just want to make sure it's right when we do something. No, I agree. I, I agree. Thank you. Okay, so we'll move on to the next thing, a sewer abatement. <laughs> <laughs> that one is a legitimate first pump Good. pipe. So um, I would make a, a motion to uh, abate. Um, I want to just get the address right here. It was 
it was uh, 13 Braeburn Road, uh, South Deerfield, for a burst pipe that we've heard from the um, water department. They've gone to our town offices. That's the owner's address, but not the address of the property, I believe. Oh. That's correct. It says 13. No, yeah, that's their owner's address. Service gotcha. Location. Yep. It says service location on it, 68 Oh, 68 A North Main Street. Gotcha. Okay. So um, I make a motion to abate that to the minimal usage, which um, falls in line with their previous billings, and uh, that will be to abate to $180. I second that. Is there any further discussion? All nope. those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay. The, uh, first discussion on a building committee. Uh, this building committee, is this what we're talking about for the school? No, for the church. Oh, for the church. Okay. And, well, senior center, church. Senior center. <coughs> whatever. Um, I think that um, it would be a good idea to have a building committee. Um, I'm, I guess we could ask for volunteers. I've got some, people. I've mentioned that I have three people you know, three at least people. that have you know, said they'd be interested or willing. I think, I think it would be a good idea. I, I would hope that some trades people uh, would be willing to you know, step up. I, I think that not that a committee is a bad idea, it's just sometimes I've seen where a group of people come together and it's, well, this is a really good idea and we need to do this for our senior center. And I just hate to see things grow and they get so much out of proportion that, you know, the town makes it, it's difficult for the town to afford and then nothing happens. You know, but, but anyways, anybody who's listening that's interested, you know, just let when you know and we can get I think wrong. I've mentioned before that um, uh, Julie Shelfand, mm -hmm. um, Carol Morrow, and Bruce Hunter have all expressed interest and right. willingness right. to be and, uh, involved. And so this did um, John Pachork, our police chief. Yes. So, because um, he feels very committed to this as well. Right. Um, and there's been, you know, discussion about you can hardly talk about one building without talking more than Agreed. one. And I it's think true. that is we'll have to. Uh, that will be part of the charge. And one of the things we've talked about, um, um, at least I have with Bruce Hunter um, and Sherry Patch in Sunderland, they just did a buildings assessment, and I actually have the request for proposals for that. I haven't had a chance to look at it. Great. And the report is almost done, but it might give us some ideas about how to approach this in an organized, focused way. Great. Great. So I'm hoping we will do that. Yeah, that would be great. great. Uh, next is to open the warrant for our special town meeting on October 29th. Just, do I just make a motion? Yep. I'll make yep. a motion to open the uh, warrant for a special town meeting October 29th. And I second that. Is there any further discussion? No. Actually, all those I have in favor? some. Do you have some oh, discussion? Have some? No, I'll say it after you all right. have your round. All those in favor? <laughs> Aye. 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 And uh, so what this means listeners is um, if you've got something you want to bring forward now is the time we are having a special town meeting on October 29th I hope to have a warrant to you for signature on the 10th okay. um, I, I hope I'm going to by then <laughs> um, council's already looking at language um, most of the items are related to uh, bylaws and correcting language and things like that and the excise tax for farm equipment uh, so we can move that forward to a ballot vote um, in the spring, so they're not heavy items. Uh, those senior we center budget. We have a budget. senior center budget revision. Uh, senior services okay. budget. So yep. those are the things. Well, and, and the I'll assessors. That for you. The assessors are going to drop the tax on um, animals. Yeah, I just and said that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I missed that. I, so, yeah, uh, I said farm animals. I think. Yeah. yeah. Did I say animals? <laughs> animals. <laughs> I just did animals. now. Okay. Uh, November 6, 2018, is a general election. Uh, town clerk documents. Do you yeah. have anything for us mm -hmm. to yep. sign? Here you go. All right. So do we motion this as well or just sign? It couldn't hurt to motion it. I make okay. a motion we sign the documents yes. for the November 6, 2018 general election. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And then, um, I guess the only op other option is the surplus declaration for the police vehicle. Sure, the surplus declaration for the police vehicle. 
I do. Uh, so this is a Ford 2013 Ford uh, police utility vehicle, five years old. Um, it's ready for replacement. Um, would like it declared on 9th of September, uh, 26th of September, 2018. Um, and the method of disposal will be the sale to the town of Gill. I think he's going to make an offer for that. Uh, Any further discussion? All nope. those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. being 7.30, um, we have an appearance from people from Deerfield Naturals. Deerfield Naturals, you want to come up and Do you want to sign it all? I keep forgetting. Yeah. Who's just about okay. What name is what? Welcome. How are Hello. you? Um, I, I, I just want you to know that I don't think this was our, um, the back side of page six, seven, and eight. It's um, redlining. The redlining is mostly from Tom, Attorney yeah. Lasser, uh, that to was our not, council. That was not ours. I don't know how come you thought it was ours. Because your, your attorney sent it to me, and I thought that the last time we were yeah. here, we agreed that there wasn't going to be all those conditions. Correct. 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 Yep. No, but and we that's what I represented them. to your attorney. Yep. Yeah. But your attorney said she was giving you both of them tonight hmm. for you to pick the one. And I think that we have an original without any of that stuff in it. Yep. That's, that's correct. That's correct because uh, that's not one that we had. And we have. Right. Are you talking about the host community we have several Yeah, times. we have yes. two host right. communities, one for cultivation and then one for the right. retail right. manufacturing. Right, and we're prepared right. to sign those and we, Great. and um, Do, so, we have yeah. a letter of non-opposition that I think has been prepared. Okay. And we prepared some host community certification forms. Okay. Which okay. would certify that in fact, if I can present them to you. Sure, that please. That would certify that in fact Great. Must be um, uh, copies. Copies of the applications. Are these all the same? Letter of non opposition, you already signed that? Yes. Okay. Looks like there's one, two, three. Did, did, four did you have the letter, the development letter? We do. Oh, okay. We do, and, okay. You, and you were, you were uh, as a board member, we discussed that, but we do have development agreement, and I gave you three of them. Okay. Are those the same? No, those are different, right? Sir, this was not filled out. Wait. Oh, I see. Which one's one? filled out. One's this is, not. This is not filled out. No. This is a host uh, community certificate isn't filled out. This one is, right? This one is. This is, this one is. So this one. is this, um, is it the same? You were given us, uh, yeah, he was going to bring oh, just okay. one filled out. Okay. And the, this one is filled out. Is that the idea? Yeah. Well, they're all filled out. I thought if you could sign it, we have two host community agreements. Oh, this yes. one's the, the, you could sign all a lot of these. Of these aren't quite. So they can. These so this is this is the only one you have to fill out. Those other ones okay. are just blank. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure what all the blanks are. Okay. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. They're all blanks. Okay. So. I make a motion we um, sign the host community agreement certification form. Uh, you should do the like let's do the host agreement first. first. Yeah. Yep. And you have the case. Right. Yep. Here, here are the agreements that I think are, are improper. Okay. Can I just take a second and look at? Just just make sure there's no. Um, there's only no, six please, pages. No, please go ahead. I'm um, trying to think. This is the retail. That's the cultivation. Okay. So. Let's go through this and make sure these are the same. 
Yeah, yeah see, this is. Maybe we need a new copy because this has got the, all the the wrong um, percentage. It, it has the pre red line stuff. At least for the zip code was wrong. The zip code wrong. And then yeah, this is the old. This is an old one. Do you have new ones? I can do this. On, well, he's, you had new, he's, ones, right? what, what new is, one I have has the red line accepted. Is this the cultivation one? Well, I'm going through the, the retail one right now. Right. It has the wrong zip code, and then it had um, this language had changed. Uh, and then the. The cultivation one looks okay, though. This is what you're saying. Cultivation one looks okay. Doesn't say recreational either. Okay, hang on one sec. Maybe it's just the uh, the zip code maybe was wrong on that first page because that looks right. This is right. The percentage is right. It's o one three seven three. Yeah, this said o one three seven two. So that's the only change. We can, can we change. Just do yeah, we can just one three seven yep. three. Pen stroke is good there. Can we just do a pen stroke with that zip? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And then, um, Did you? Have that old? Let me just look at this. Next time. <clears throat> I didn't even know what it was going to say. Yep, this got that in it. Good. That's good. stuff, right? It just goes up to 11. Perfect. Yep, that's good. It's just the zip code that's different. So. That's it. Yep, on the front there. Yeah, yep. Okay, so this is... So make a motion to sign the host agreement between uh, Town of Deerfield and Deerfield Naturals for the... Um, let me read the whereas. The company intends to site and operate a licensed marijuana establishment at 10 Greenfield Road, South Deerfield, Massachusetts, 01373, for the retail sale and dispensing of adult and medical use recreational marijuana and for the manufacture of cannabis and or marijuana products in accordance with the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and those of the town. Second. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. This one you want signed? Sure. Yep. How many do you want of this retail? Okay. Well, why don't we have one for us? Yes. Okay. Here's a second. Perfect. Oh, uh, this is let's just not the final. Not the final. Okay. So let me just make sure we have, we have two of these, right? Um, so I make a motion to sign the community host agreement between the town of Deerfield, Massachusetts, and Deerfield Naturals LLC. Um, this is for cultivation, whereas the company intends to site and operate a licensed marijuana establishment at 10 Greenfield Road, South Deerfield, Massachusetts, 01373, for the cultivation of adult and medical use recreational marijuana in accordance with the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and those of the town. 
Second. Sorry. Any further discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. No, uh, this one is not signed. Not yet. Not yet. We got two to sign. There's this one is there. Is that another cultivation? I will take I that one. Our signed copy. I handed you this. I handed you the retail. Do you have retail signed Yeah, I handed that to you. What? Isn't that what I just handed yes. you? Yes. Yep. And, and then you I have, have a copy. copy. And then this is well, the cultivation. The cultivation. Yeah. Yeah. See how confusing this is? <laughs> we'll get through Magnified it. Magnified by multiple companies. We'll get through it. We'll get things, through it. So. There's one more signature on that by you guys. This is the uniform itself. Exactly. I'm sorry? Oh, that's a good point. You don't know. But that's only when I supply this. Oh, we can do as many as we want. Give them both and he'll hand them. Okay. You can leave them to the um, So, do you, have, do you have the development form, Tom? No. Not yet. I don't think so. We have the certificate stuff. You um, gave it to me, and here it is. Before the meeting started. Or oh, okay. This is the development. Okay. But you want to do the host community certification? Yes, we'll do that first. Yep. Uh, make a motion for the host community agreement certification form. Second. Uh, or authorize uh, KIP to sign. Yep. Mr. Chair. I second that. And we need one of those. Back. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So here's a couple here. Yep. I know maybe two or just one. Tom, do you just you need one? You wanted four. Did four you want of those? four or two for us to, for each of the different host community right. agreements? That's what I would think, yep. So four. I know, I've only got three. So these, these are all blank, so. Yeah. Just need one more. Maybe I'll photocopy one. I have one. Do you have one? Oh, okay. We got one here. I'll bring the sticky brackets. Mike was really good at brackets. Oh, this is a cultivation one. All right. Do you have a second cultivation one there? I handed them back to you. You put them in the corner. This is the final manufacturing agreement signed by everyone. And then these are four signed, two for us, two for you and you. Okay. You have to, yeah, you, if you sign all four of those. And we need the cultivation back, one. one. Yeah. Um, Is, is that an yes. agreement? Is that a final agreement or is that a draft agreement? Mm -hmm. This is from last week. Okay. To Calgary. Yes, I, I, I do. It, I, I, do. Yep. I wasn't sure how much. This is primarily just for this card. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. It's, it's just. That's right. It's totally inadequate. Sorry. Okay. I thought we did. Didn't you sign? That's all right. Yes, I did. That's all right. We moved it. Yep, we did. What happened? I don't know. It's around somewhere. Yeah, no, the other one should be around. Okay. Government bureaucracy. <laughs> Wow. Just gets worse from here with the bureaucracy. <laughs> Good, luck. Good luck. A lot of paperwork. Quite the light show I know. I know. We only need, I guess we should have two. Oh, yeah. Give it to me. Oh, yeah. Give it to Wendy, quick. For Wendy, here's one that's all signed by everybody. That's ours. Um, yeah, would you? Yeah, I think you would write your name. Is that right? Uh, yep. Yeah. So there you go. Yep. <laughs> I could do that. 
I could do that by your doing other things. Okay. Because it's not your I, signature, yeah. I can write that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now the development agreement. I make a motion we um, sign the development agreement between the town of Deerfield and Deerfield Naturals. This is for the $5,000 payment to um, South Deerfield Fire District, Old Deerfield Fire District, and South County EMS. Second. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Do you have another one of those? Yes, I do. Okay. I've got a couple more. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll just sign up all of them. Right. You need four. You need the four, and I need one. Correct. No, two and two. I just need one to make copies of more. That's fine. Yeah. You can take. I'll one. make one copy now to give them. Now. Give all four of them back to you. That's <clears throat> fine. These two are executed as well. Or we signed them. Mark needs to Mark needs to sign those. This is didn't come back. I just signed them all because we have four and four and four and four. I don't know. We just uh, signed them. I think just one each, right? For that one. Let's do. Yeah. One. What are you looking at, Mark? That's just for. That's right. just for retail, correct? Correct. So we only need two signed. One for you that's and one for, just for us. Wanting. Yep. That's right. We only need the two. <clears throat> that's just for the retail. Did they already that have a lot of non-opposition? Mm -hmm. I gave it to him. We signed it already. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The non-opposition has an error. Do you have that? I do have the letter of non-opposition. Okay. Yeah, the one I just gave you that they'd already signed. Where was the error? The address. The address is wrong. Okay. So I don't know if we want to. We should we quick. should correct this that. This isn't signed by me. This is signed by the board. Okay. Can you can you do one with the correct address easily, Wendy? Oh. Oh yeah yeah. Um, right. Oh, right now you yes. um, need. The big thing was we this was 18 and we changed that to 19. Never even caught that. Right. All right. Yeah. Diana, do you think you could? Um, yeah. Thank you. Uh, just correct that. We can sign the, that. Can we do that for that? Can you write oh, it? I thought we did. Yes, the but this is Deerfield Naturals with oh, the son's address. address. Yep. They we, took, we caught the, the date. They took the address of the, off of. Um, we caught the date. Diana, I had Diana correct the date because okay, it was okay. the 18th and it was meeting, it's a reference to the meeting of the 18th, so she 
corrected it to the meet, meet the reference the meeting of the 19th, but we never caught the address. I was really yeah. sorry. Yeah, the address yeah. was the address yeah. for the other establishment. Yep. Right. We never Just uh, to update that. the board there, the other establishment is not pursuing retail. Okay. okay. And we have a third okay. party that's coming in next week. Okay. Okay. Have we um, had a presentation? They did a community meeting. Okay. But well, we don't have any information per se. They have to submit the package okay. from that. So. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, Proof. Of so your what's your next step? Uh, the next step is to file be for the special permit. Okay. Site plan review before the planning with board. The planning board. And simultaneously file with the cannabis control commission. Yep. Okay. We have to meet with the building inspector and see exactly what he wants in terms of the special permit. Did I understand right? You're going to remove one, some part of the building, and rebuild part of it. Uh, no, the the complex mm -hmm. per se is uh, 187,000 square feet, but the area that is related to this um, marijuana plan is only 40,000 square feet in the front. That mm -hmm. property is all staying. We've already removed the old offices. It was old pole shed that client oh. had there from before. I don't know if you've driven by the yeah. back there, you can see. So that's already all been removed. And so there, there's another building there, which is not part of the marijuana in the plan mm -hmm. that may or may not be removed through um, the next year or two. Okay. Yeah. The likelihood is that it will, but there's um, budgetary mm -hmm. issues on getting that building down. And uh, we have to redo the, separate the fire sprinkler systems already into separate buildings so we're working on that and we have to separate the security into all separate buildings um, so we're working on that regardless of the you know it really kind yep. of um, as a separate thing it doesn't hurt to be separate it right. only helps so we're doing that as we go forward Makes but sense. we don't expect to have the um, removal of the building in the back to be part of this right okay. Do you ever see yourself expanding if, if everything goes well? I mean, do you have room to do you, sounds we like have you have land room to do in the back? Yep. So we, we hope that things will go well and right. that we can um, okay. expand, of course. It sure. Would be, it would be good. Yeah. As the facility's very, you know, it's a large facility. Absolutely. So we'll see how the business goes. Great. But the, isn't there a limit on how many square feet of grow area that you can have? Yeah, I don't think we would expand too much on the grow Growers. side. It's more an uh, issue of the dispensary and how well the dispensary does and traffic from, you know, um, and the laws and, the, you know, what happens with uh, people that are going to Yankee Candle or north to Vermont or whatever um, relates to the business in general. So we'll start with this plan, which is, will be submitted to the planning board. We're hoping for November 5th. We already have the drawings. Um, it's about, I think about the total of 40,000 square feet. And there's about eight to 10 of that, which is the retail establishment and the offices and meeting rooms and yep. manufacturing and then the rest is the grow and we'll see where it goes with the ccc yeah you know what i just thought um i think that's before voting so i think the planning board meeting in november oh, because right. november 6th is the vote right so i think the planning board meeting actually is the 8th i can tell you in a second oh, that, no, no, it was the 12th or, yeah, or it probably would be because it, the the fifth yeah, was a the, Monday. Because this so the town the hall gets set up Tuesday. for um, early voting. Uh, yeah, and understood. then you have voting. Yeah. Um, so you can't have. Um, yeah, I mean, they, there wouldn't be a public space. For, well, that's good for us. Yeah. It gives a little bit more time <laughs> to try to push for November fifth. Oh, November. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think I'm pretty sure it's not that first Monday because that's. Um, voting. Oh, one together. This is a copy. This is a virtual. So, do we want to take all the originals? Let Tom, uh, let Matt make copies. We'll send you copies of it. 
I have all the originals. I'll keep all the originals. I have originals of everything. I don't know if we have a lot of originals. Hmm? We'll want originals. This is your original certification. Sort of We're not going to need originals, but I'll make <laughs> copies of everything for you that's been signed tonight. Can't, can't we just get originals and make you copies? Would be my I can first. send. I can. I can get you the originals if you'd rather keep them, and I'll you know, keep copies. That's fine, but that's an original, so put it with the other ones. Yeah. We'll keep all the originals together. Okay. Yeah, it's Finding one. Yeah. I think it's no longer the case. Uh, we do have them scheduled, I see, for the first of October. Very loaded agendas these days, so. So, did you have any other questions for us or anything? No, I think. Any concerns? We're... Thank you very much for yeah. being supportive of the letter of development. Yep. I, um, we're really good. Hopefully, everything will move forward as planned. Yeah, let us know what we can do to help. And we'll, we'll be meeting with the building inspector yeah. and seeing what the building inspector wants in terms of site plan. I know it sometimes varies depending on whether or not you're in an existing building. Obviously, if you're putting in water, you're putting in sewer, you're doing in a parking area that's different, that's going to require more in the way of plans. Yeah, this building's all existing, so we don't foresee much in the way of, you know, the curb cuts there, the parking's there, right. the yeah. power's there, the water's there. <coughs> the only um, changes we're making is to the interior of the building, and as we've already done... Security. Yeah, security, yeah. and well, there's a lot to deal with on that, but on the um, front, we already upgraded to the handicapped entrance, <coughs> I don't know if anybody sees, so I we have the that. handicap entrance, do we have people in there already, so that's done, Great. and we already upgraded the um, restrooms in the front are already handicapped accessible, but right. we have plans for uh, two more sets of restrooms, so there's some, some work to be done with the yeah. um, okay. building Great. inspector and the planning board. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank, Thank you. Guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a great night. Uh, yeah, be careful going out. It's just it's really just a lot of light. It's raining and then not raining and then raining. <laughs> yeah. What are we going to do about these mosquitoes? I know. Right. I know. <laughs> really? Uh, and, uh, 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 no, I'm just... No, no, just it's really bad. I want, Next promise agenda three. item. What? 350th anniversary committee. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, just, yeah. just make yeah. sure yeah. everybody pays attention that. until the f next frost it's because really it's really it's a lot of <laughs> West Nile disease. It's really still. important. <laughs> Got really people yep. don't realize it. Yeah. It's, it's really important. Trevor's going to help me out read the names of the I know. people on the committee. It's really important. It is. It's it really huge. is important. And it's gotten so much worse yep. in the last few years about what's going on with these mosquitoes. We feed them too much. So... <laughs> That so, I would like to prevent. Okay. Uh, I make a motion to um, appoint to the to the uh, 350th anniversary committee uh, several people who have stepped forward and wanted to be involved. Um, Kathy Melnick, uh, Julie Cavaco, Jay Stryker, and Holly Lenkowski. I think that's what I've got so far. And I, I believe I, there's a chair already. Maybe. Um, I just want to say thank you to yes. everybody. Yeah, Jay's already, Jay's already on. Jay's already yeah. on, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, I just want to say thank you, everyone, for um, stepping forward because this is one of the things we really want to do is plan. Mm. Uh, you know, have have a lot of activities and get people excited about it. And there are a lot of communities around us that have just had celebrations. So it would be wonderful if people reached out to the other communities and just, what did you en enjoy um, participating, if you did participate in the other communities' events, um, and then talk to other communities, um, their events committees, and what people really, you know, the feedback from their committees, um, because we, we really want a wonderful celebration. And we also have to budget. Um, you know, and it would give us an idea of how much we need to budget um, in the next few years to, to, to pull off the celebration. So um, we'd like to have a realistic budget and how much money we need to raise in the community and um, that kind of thing. So it, would, it does entail a lot of planning. So I hope people will participate. Um, Stan Adams, who's the kind of temporary chair, at least, of the committee, has, has been in touch with me asking all kinds of questions that I'm going to be answering and directing him to Brenda about financial things and 
you know, other details. We need public to set up a donation that, account. It has to be publicly yeah. posted and all mm -hmm. of that. So. We need to set up a donation account so people can make donations towards the celebration. Um, it would be obviously tax deductible um, because you're making them to the town. So um, we'd want to do that mm -hmm. at some point. Yeah. I did make a motion. And to I second point. that. Second. All those. All those in favor. Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, new businesses. We need to withdraw the RDA from the ConCom on Parcel C. Can we talk about that? Yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, I just didn't know. What? Okay. Uh, be, what they did is uh, there was a. Um, an order of conditions on that whole parcel. And um, there was some difference of opinion as to what part it actually uh, belonged to. Uh, as far as the Conservation Commission was concerned, it only dealt with the bakery's property because it originally uh, had a, a, an acreage of approximately nine and a half acres, and that's what the bakery did buy. Um, but to get the, the deed, I guess, straightened out, um, clear the title. We had to clear the title. We need to uh, withdraw the RDA, um, and the, uh, the people from Dumont have fire, filed their own notice of intent, and they're going to go through that process okay. independently. And it okay. seemed to be, I, I, although I didn't speak with our attorney, um, she spoke with um, their engineer, and they felt that this was a most prudent way to. I did uh, speak clear with counsel, title. and she said that was fine. Yeah. Okay. That okay. New England Natural Bakers is going to. File their partial discharge. Yeah, it's certain form. Right. Um, don't have that. Okay. Okay. So. So make a motion to withdraw the RDA to Conservation Commission for Parcel C. Second. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Frontier Regional School Teachers Association negotiation team. Negotiating team. So um, this is the request to appoint somebody, and I also included, or I hope you did, um, email. I talked with counsel about this. This is where Tom Feidenkevich from Sunderland has been on that committee to serve on behalf of the three towns, the negotiating of the teacher's contract. So if you read that, we included, we included this, the um, regulations about that, and it, they're unclear, but you can't. We, in a regional school, you do designate uh, one. Just one person from all three towns. And it has to be a chief executive officer. Of the, it cannot be a. a de, the only designee um, would have to be. Well, it doesn't read that way, but the advice I got from council would have to be either a, a board member, a select board member, or a town administrator. You lucked out, Bruce. I was going to push you into that. Is there. Uh, so in negotiating their contracts, this town doesn't have a representative other than what's put forward by a school committee? Unless the, we appoint one person? No, we are, supposed to, we are supposed to appoint somebody. In the past, the towns have agreed to have Tom Feidenkevich serve in that capacity to represent the town's All the interest. Town. interest. Not just the three, three towns. The four, towns. the four towns. Four towns. So it's up to what we, you know, you need well, to discuss is, what you'd like to do. the Frontier School Committee Correct. as well. Oh, yes. This yes. is to the negotiating yes. team. Yeah. It adds to it. I don't know. I don't know if Tom is interested in continuing in that role or if you would like somebody else, how you would like to do that. Well, I was very interested in being involved, but, and, and I, we haven't made a decision at the Deerfield Elementary School Committee level. Um, typically, I think we were going to have David do it, and I was, I didn't know, I assumed the town of Deerfield put somebody forward, but I didn't realize that all four towns only put one person yeah. forward to negotiate on behalf of all four towns. Yep. That's In a region, news to me. Yeah, it was, it was. I knew of this because I knew that Tom had been doing it, you know, from the last time I, I worked mm -hmm. here. But I always thought both, because when I worked in an, a two-town region, I think both towns had representatives. But I included this. You have this in your packet so you can see what it says Do we have about to vote that. tonight on this? You don't have to do anything. Okay. Um, but it's, the letter came from 
Uh, they have a November 13th meeting, so we should put this on a future agenda. Okay. Right. Could, well, could we and then we on? need to find out. Um, if yeah. Tom is it even interested right. in doing this again. So I think it would be best coming from a member of the board to, mm -hmm. to ask him that. Yep. I'll um, do that. All right, then why don't we just wait until our next meeting. Yeah. And in the meantime, okay. we can reach out Sounds to good. Tom. And uh, I'd like to read this just to see mm -hmm. what's involved. Yeah, with. I mean, I, I have a general understanding. Um, I don't know. I'm just curious. I'll ask you now. I mean, is this something you, you'd be interested in? I would be, unless you, okay. unless you have an interest. I mean, I... You know, I... Um, I, I, I would I would let you do that. I mean, I'm not, I don't really mean it that way. It's no, I know what you mean. You know what you mean. If you're, um, you know, if you're inclined to doing this, I, I think that there's, it's an important thing, and um, you know, mm. it's uh, one of the things that has always stuck out to me was the insurance issue. You know, mm -hmm. uh, that might be a difficult thing to to deal with. But right. What do you mean? We can just part of the negotiations with the health insurance and stuff. Okay. Well. Since you bring that up, I just yeah. wanted to mention, I, I was going to talk about this later, and I will mm -hmm. talk more about it, but, um, and Trevor knows about yes. this, and I think I mentioned it. Maybe I did tell you. Um, we uh, are going to ask the school to take on into their budget their share of the health insurance. And this is now just... Both schools are just... No, just, just your field. field. Just your yeah. field. Um, yeah. And I did talk with the other, well, at least Waitley and Sunderland administrators, and they are not doing that at this time. But we haven't done it. Some communities, and this has been discussed here, allocate per department. I think that doesn't make sense. Right. But um, we've already segregated it. Now we're going to go ahead Moving. and take the next step. And this came out of the meeting with Skip and others with the um, mm -hmm. finance team here. So uh, we need to you know, it's the same, get that message to it's them. It's the same, same dollar thing. amount. Right, and it's, it's, just, not, it's not like we're saying to the school you have to absorb this somehow. Right, we're, right. You know, exactly. it's just, oops, where we place. We're showing it. We're showing it. Yeah. Yep. No, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. The so we'll EMPG have... grant signature. Okay. It's an emergency management. That's it. Preparing this grant. Um, Lori. Um, yep. Lankowski McComb um, is our EMD, and she put together a grant um, proposal to um, do Stop the Bleed kits. Um, oh. As you remember, cool. um, our Union 38 teachers uh, came to Homeland Security and um, requested Stop the Bleed training, um, and it was such a success, they had to actually move it to GCC because there were so many people. Was Zach involved with that? Um, I can't remember if he was involved with that. Or I know he's he was, done some training. I know he was the, part of the training. But, yeah. Um, so the, what this is is a grant um, to um, MEMA to um, put together these kits so that um, we can have them at the fire station and the um, both fire districts at the uh, at the schools and mm -hmm. um, on the ambulance and, and in cruisers. Um, so that if there was ever an awful event, like yep. an active shooter, um, not only are people trained, but they actually have, have the um, tourniquets. tourniquets and the clotting stuff. And, yep. and the, um, I know Lori had reached out to Zach that um, he would make sure that anything that was had a shelf life, I think the clotting is like five years, the clotting yep. stuff. Um, he would ro make sure it gets rotated so Great. that none of the kits um, are, um, you know, get out of date. And what we hopefully are going to do is apply, and I've already talked to Bob Berry from MEMA on this, is apply for the second rounding round of um, grants um, with leftover money because usually there's a few dollars left over. Um, so we could have Sunderland um, lately and... Um, Conway apply, but we would apply to the four towns so that the, you know, all the schools, since they've had the training in all the elementary schools as well, that they would have kits at this, mm -hmm. at the elementary That's schools and the other towns as well. Okay. So this the kits would be so, for Frontier. Yeah, all you're signing is, uh, we got the grant, yep. and it's for $2,460, and this is just authorizing her and I as a backup to sign any 
okay. you know, reports and that kind of thing. Should sure. I make a motion? Purpose. I make a motion have um, Kip sign the grant? Right. Contract. Con uh, contract? It's the, no, it's the designation. No. Read the top thing. Contract Comma. authorization. Signatory yes. list. Um, and I second that. And I, I just want to thank Lori for um, yeah, putting the great. work in yep. the research and um, yeah. doing a follow up so it's actually very beneficial. And right. implemented. All, all those in good. favor? Aye. 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 It's great. So these are the originals. She's going to pick them up. Thank you. Um, the MVP listening session. We're done with that. that. We did that already, right? That was Sign earlier. earlier. Is that what you were yes. looking for? Yes. Yes. Um, we had over 20 people. Um, not a huge turnout, but I think it's enough uh, for us to um, do the checkoff in our box. Mm -hmm. and, um, Good. We, and, and it was wonderful for the people that did come. They did participate. Um, so we have enough comments um, that we can follow up on and um, will allow us to apply for grants. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to make public comment at this point? Bruce? <clears throat> Bruce, you can only I, talk I for report. two or three minutes. A, <laughs> yep, <laughs> and then we have and then I have a report. <clears throat> report. Okay. You have a report. Yeah. Okay. okay. First off, um, I can't seem to find the select board minutes on the town website anymore. Find everybody else's, but not the uh, select board minutes. They've disappeared. Hmm. And where you go to minutes. What period of time? Pardon? All of them? Of all of them. Like There's all of them. no select board minutes other than if you go in the archives from 216 back. Oh. But as far, really? as, uh, as far as the column where you hit minutes and agendas, yep. the select board does not show up there. Huh. So I we tried haven't been to... doing anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll find out. I we'll tried to look back up on something. But just, thank just, you for letting us know, Bruce. F FYI. Yep. Okay. Appreciate it. For, okay. Thank you know. for letting us know. So, Seriously. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, it wasn't. It wasn't a criticism. No, that's it was helpful. an FYI. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, you could have told me on the phone today, but thanks. <laughs> I didn't find that out until tonight. I went to look tonight. Okay. And okay. I have done it. So. Fair enough. But um, anyway, uh, I'm here uh, on behalf of, as as a uh, sewer uh, so, uh, study co member. Mm -hmm. um, I had asked for a written charge for the committee. I want to say May or June. Yep. Okay. I followed up in on August 3rd with an email to the select board slash sewer commissioners and a copy to the town administrator and requesting again for a written charge. Yep. Uh, I have not even been acknowledged that that email has been sent out, much less a written charge for Well, I'm sorry, Bruce. I, what we wanted was you to um, continue to well, come to the meetings, right? But mm -hmm. uh, We I didn't don't actually think discuss it. That's probably why you haven't gotten a response because well, we haven't discussed it. I think it as a board, part, right? partly is that we're not ready. So I think, I think if you give me um, a couple of weeks, I think we're, we're at that point where we're going we're gonna to be able to start moving forward on some stuff and having, um, I, I, I would be, I would take on writing that charge it, and in, obviously well, with the two partners here to, um, to to constitute what, what that charge, what we need that from that committee. There's a serious need for the committee to kind of continue, but there's been no need yet. So, and I haven't had a good idea on what that charge would be yet. So I think um, it had been premature to put something out there without any kind of knowledge of what we, what we were asking. I have, I have in my mind what we need, but um, I think in another week or two, I'll have a better idea to be able to do that. We, well, the fir first thing that we are gonna work on is, um, the financing part, right? We have to um, sort out what. Yeah, we'll we'll we have had. a. Uh, so, I've been having a couple of meetings, um, and I have one more tomorrow. And I think um, after that, we'll be able to kind of roll forward with a with a good plan. Yeah, I, um, I, I let Bruce know, and I share this with some of you just today. They, they estimate, um, they being, Cricket Consulting, um, a, about three weeks to to have their first workshop which from my recollection of your comments and discussion about this issue about the charge for and the status of the sewer study committee is to invite them to participate Absolutely. and let them know ahead of time and yeah. you know, set that date with their, you know. I mean, we, right. we want you to participate well, because then I, then we, we don't want to be the sole 
Um, I mean, it's just it's just better to have more people and you've involved. Got and a whole and, bunch of knowledge from and, and, two years of looking at this. Right. Well, I, I understand that, but you know, I I have people asking me what's going on, mm -hmm. and I have to stupidly say I don't have a clue. Yeah. Because there's not even been an acknowledgement back to the committee in general that you're not right. even prepared to make a charge, a written charge at this point. Right. Just something so that they know that um, you know, because it should not be my responsibility right. to try to convey. A no message. Yep. So I would appreciate if the board would at least send out an acknowledgement that uh, you have not developed a written charge as yet. Yep. And uh, however, it you know the committee is still uh, felt to be a necessary thing. Absolutely. And yeah. following, I think we'll have a charge by. But I, would think I was going to say, as far as tonight is the first that I've even heard of any. Um, motion by Mr. Prickett. I mean, I asked Wendy the other day if she's heard anything because, you know, their their timetable called for things to start happening in July and August, and here it is the end of September, and we haven't heard anything from them, so. That, that's, that's well, not, that's well, not can accurate. I, yeah, yeah, I just want to say, um, one is that timetable was based on having the contract signed weeks and weeks before we actually signed it. And we did have this working meeting with over at the treatment plant a few weeks ago, and we're meeting yeah. again tomorrow morning. And I pressed him on some information, and that's mm -hmm. when uh, that today to he's that. estimating three weeks more or less from now having sure a first workshop with presentation. And we're just giving them feedback, and Brenda is as well, checking out some financial data that they're working with. We need to get the sewer rates set, you know, mm -hmm. things like that. So. It's a, it's a little bit of a small working group. It's staff mostly. And then there'll be, you know, a workshop for the public and... For the committee. Well, well that was one of the concerns with the committee uh, way back when, uh, uh, although the majority of us did, uh, you know, agree that uh, we would like to see Prickett uh, doing the uh, analysis. Uh, some of the skepticism was whether it was a big enough outfit as to whether they could handle that, uh, that particular job in the time frame that was given to them, and the answer was yes. And, and I understand it was based on July 1st, and I don't know what the actual signing of the contract was, but I'm assuming it was within a month. And nope. No, it wasn't? When, did, when did, was it? Did I it was don't know, August, I'd have to look. maybe? It was yeah, August. Signed it. August, I think. End of August? Yeah. Okay, so then that would put them two months not, behind. Not necessarily, because okay. yeah. we're yeah. looking at, you know, <laughs> trying to... We're, we're he, trying to he still, I, I told him I still needed the information, at yeah. least some information for the capital improvement. Yeah. Well, the last, well, the last right. working group that was meeting, it was conveyed that we need to kind of shrink up his schedule a little bit so that we could get everything before, um, before December Budgeting 1st. And he's hoping before the end of November to have, you know, working groups done and information back. He knows our, our time schedule of how, how quickly we need that stuff for CIPC. So I think by the end of this week, beginning of next week, we'll, we'll have enough to have a charge and kind of start rolling forward. Okay, because yeah, we'll need, we'll need to post that. a meeting and so I forth. The board needs that. to discuss of that. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and I guess one of, one, of the, one of the thoughts was um, is to, uh, uh, you, know, I, I, you know, I know the town administrators, you know, literally tearing their hair out and the assistant and the select board with things that are going on. And one of the thoughts was that, uh, uh, maybe the sewer commissioner is going to allow the um, uh, sewer study committee to uh, help in the management of this project to, to you know, keep it going in a fast pace because there's so many other things that you people have to do that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, because it's like anything else. I was in business long enough. You've been in. You have been. Everybody has. And unless you keep constantly harassing these people, I am. you get shoved off till you get shoved off till tomorrow. I, so, I will show you my emails. Um, and, and, and they the are only, the only responsive. problem, Bruce, is yeah. that it's really critical that we all be involved so that exactly. we can all make the decision. Yeah. That's the only thing. A exactly. I, I, I'm not trying to take away the decision making yeah, process. I, I, I no, but keep the we, keep we, the foot we, on the gas. But that yeah. was also a question yeah. that was has come up is okay. a part of the uh, uh, membership of the board. I think you've appointed seven members at this point in time, and I think most of the board would love to see one of the sewer commissioners on the board as well. Mm. You know, well, the only thing I'd like to say about that, Bruce, is that I was on it for a year, as you know, and I, the problem that I encountered is that I, I took an active role in participating in that. Um, there were 
a number of items that I didn't particularly agree with, but I still brought forward uh, the desires of the committee. And, but being a member of the sewer commissioners, I said, you know, the, the committee thought this is the best way to go. I personally didn't. So I felt that I was almost undermining the, the committee, you know, and there were some people that weren't, didn't really like that. Well, I, and, I don't think, I, I, I envision it being the other way around, where we're getting input from the member mm -hmm. so that we're trying to follow the commissioner's uh, track sure. rather than the other way around. Yeah, okay. but Bruce, I, I'm, I really I, feel strongly it's got to be joint meetings. Uh, I, 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 yeah, I think that's what he's saying. Yeah. Um, yeah. But he, he, just, he's saying that, that, that sometimes, you know, those, all, the, all of us are not going to be at their Well, that's what so, I'm saying. Right. Yes. So he'd like so one of us to do that. Yes, you know? to be able to relate yes, the information. I just, I just can't oh, imagine. No, I, I, right. I don't envision us having separate meetings. Any yeah. meeting is going to be joint. Yeah. The workshops. Yeah. It, yeah. The workshops. yeah. It's, okay. it's going to be, um, the whole idea is your advisory to us. Right. Then this yeah. is what I envision. Obviously, yeah. we haven't had this discussion. Right. But, but your advisory, so I, we want you to participate. Well, I, But we're not meeting unless all three of us are together and you choose to come. I mean, there won't be separate meetings because that's what didn't work already. And it also didn't work that none of us, the three of us weren't informed with this of the same information at the same time. So we signed this contract to get guidance from somebody as a professional and then for us to all collectively work together with our professional and come up with a solution that, but it's, everyone needs to hear the same information at the same time. And we have, we go from meeting to meeting and meeting. The agenda is set, the, the outcome is discussed between the three of us, because we can't have any discussion. I mean, as sewer commissioners, we can't have any more discussion than we can as select board. So right. we right. have to post the meeting and, you know, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, there's a lot of money, and it's a lot of figuring out what we're going to do and who's going to pay for it. And so we need to be together 100%. I, no, I understand. I, I understand. So there'll be no separate meetings, no discussion outside of what is collectively on TV. We're going to be as transparent as possible to every single person in town. So if you want to complain about your sewer bill, show up because you're going to be participating in the meeting with everybody else and we're going to try to make the best absolute best decision for the town what's the cheapest best right, long-term so, decision for the town but see this is what I, this is what I want to know okay so so the the what you're envisioning is there will not be a sewer study committee meeting unless the select board is there right okay it, you all have invested yeah, I think time at, that point, at this point it makes sense to Okay. Yeah, you all to have all invested time. It, it does, but yeah. you know, you, you no, people are no always No, decision, no information it, passing. It, it, Nobody's right. meeting to separately. Everybody's okay, on together. the same page, same time, getting the same information. We're getting guidance from the professional that we're paying. And advisory from and, from and your advisory board. from as many people that want to participate. You don't. The committee is the committee, but it's also a public meeting. So if someone wants to come and. Oh, I understand. Great. I understand it, but I, I'm trying to, you know, there again. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I I would uh, uh, appreciate it if that could go out in an email to the committee, so mm -hmm. uh, that that is understood that they uh, will be all joint Jeez, meetings as well. Bruce, I've been saying this for I don't no, know this, how. It's, this, okay. I have been telling you this. No, we're this all is, together. Yeah. No, I, I, so then I didn't hear you in this at. In all right. This I'm, I, I okay. guess that's why I'm getting cranky. I was like, listen. We're not meeting unless we're all together. Everybody's okay. hearing the same thing, same time. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's well, we're gonna we're yeah. gonna put it on the next agenda. Okay. And that okay. way it'll be after this next working right. group, and then we okay. can we can. Thank you. Yeah. That's, and then that's all I'm asking yeah. is to pay attention to it because it's been. No, dropped. I understand. Yeah. yeah. No, okay. Uh, actually, it wasn't dropped because I, I I just brought it up last month when we had. Um, a CIPC meeting because I was worried about that December 1st date yep. and I and I was like we know we're gonna spend some money but we need to know what uh, what are we even doing well we have had absolutely no contact since mm -hmm. March when I, I think, right. believe uh, was uh, well no that's not true you came and you voted for the 
the, to hire the cricket. We've that was in to, March. Was it March? Yeah. Time marches on. Yes, it was. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, it was. I and that, and that is the last well, acknowledgement there has been of yeah. this committee. Yeah. Well, we've yeah. been trying to. So, and it. And, okay. and, it, and rightfully, that's what it need to happen right then. And then I think, I think we're, we're all grouped back in now. We're getting that information. Yeah. We need you back in to do that, if you're willing. And I, I think, I mean, I I think we'll go. But, but that's, that's why I would appreciate if, if you yep. would acknowledge to the committee mm -hmm. uh, what is going on. Yep, because we can do I that. get these emails. Sure. Yep. What's going on is like, I don't know. Yep. yep. No, thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you. No, Thanks. I'm sorry about that. Is there anyone else? Do you want to give your report? Yeah, I have a bunch of, I'm very, very, very busy. In fact, council told me today <laughs> to take the day take off. Take Federoff, who I'm working with from our council's office on our personnel work. She said, gee, you're the busiest town administrator we work with <laughs> and the smallest town. Yeah. So, yep. So, thank you for being here and helping. Good so, help. deeply appreciative. Um, you probably have in your packet the MMA legislative breakfast. Um, I actually signed up already. I do not. Okay. I don't have that. Oh, it's not in the packet? No. Okay. When is it? Um, no, October 26th at the Sunderland oh, Library. Sunderland. Yes. At 8 o'clock in the morning. 8 o'clock in the morning. Do we have to sign up? That so we can just show up. Um, I think Food. Well, you have to no, you have to register. Okay. I think I'll I already do registered. Ready. Okay. I registered this afternoon because I, my, um, Password didn't work. So many Danishes. So October 30th. There's only so many Danishes. Oh. Okay. Um, you said October um, 26th. That's actually a, it's an important one because that's the legislative update. Yes, it's always great to, so, to be. So yeah. um, we're going to have a supplemental budget. Where is it? Sunderland Library. Library, okay. They actually wanted to have it here, but it was the original date they had was uh, like, uh, it was not going to work. I think. I can't remember what it was, but I was ready to, oh, I, maybe it was during the books. I don't remember what it was. Yeah, but, it was the book sale. Um, it was what? set up. I think it was the book sale. Yeah. Yeah, yep. was, but they, and they changed. You know, okay. At any rate, um, okay. So um, October 3rd meeting, I've been keeping track of things. We just now have that. Um, so I had one item, but now we have more. Um, Diamond Shine will, is scheduled to come in. We'll see what they have for us. Um, lights on the common from the Women's Club wants to talk with the board about their proposal. Um, and um, on October 10th is the rescheduled expedited permit hearing for Dumont. Um, oh, I've got to make sure I put that, that, that down. Put that in my phone. I also will it's have, October I hope 10th. more of, yeah. That's our off, is an Yeah, off we're, we're, unfortunately, oh, we're going every week Dumont. now yep. for the yep. next few. Unfortunately, what time, what time is that at six? 7.15, well, the meeting will be at 7. At seven. And the permit hearing is at okay. 7.15. I also would like, to, I'll have you close and sign the warrant that night, or maybe we'll close it before and sign it that night. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's why the extra meetings. The, uh, yep. So um, we already talked about the notice of intent last night. Um, <clears throat> we've already just talked about wastewater treatment in the study, mm -hmm. wastewater assessment in the study. We're hopefully going to have a workshop session in three weeks. Um, I, I think I mentioned that the finance team, which was uh, accountant, uh, assessors, treasurer collector, Diana, myself, and uh, Skip Holmstead chairing the finance committee met, and we reviewed the DOR municipal calendar. We're really great and on schedule where we should be at this time of year. Uh, they've met their reporting requirements, and I went over a budget calendar. I'm going to bring that next week. Um, just was sort of finalizing something mm -hmm. with Brenda, updating that to be more realistic, really bring the board much more into mm -hmm. <laughs> the budget process this year so we can pass that on to the Finance Committee um, after you've seen it. And um, we also were adding into that a deadline, and I already alerted um, the, the Find the personnel board, which is meeting Monday night, to really get moving on the compensation plan so mm -hmm. we can have the uh, sal wages and salaries Much in the budgets for the department heads so we can have that all worked out last year. It was they were, the end. Yeah, yeah, we wasted a lot of paper yeah. and time and we energy. Did. So we're going to hopefully get it more streamlined. Um, you know, again, this is a targeted uh, schedule. So I didn't put that in there, right, because we're still working on it. I'll, right. I'll have that for your yep. next meeting. Um, what else? 
Uh, we've been asked whether you want to go back to six o'clock meetings, and what, if so, when, or do you want to keep us at seven? I don't six. mind with six. I just is um, Can we do it into October? Sure. Well, I was going to ask if we could start it in November, because we've already got the sure. other things. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Whenever you're ready. Yeah. Yep. So start in November. November's fine because it, what happens is it just gets darker. Yeah. Earlier. I know. So, <laughs> so um, we'll be having um, two TIF requests coming forward um, besides Dumont. I think I've told you about that. Um, I'd heard months ago and then heard nothing, and then um, the state called me. The other one's Yankee Candle or Covestra. They are possibly expanding. Oh, uh, not that. at the store, but at their, at their I'm not sure exactly where. Yeah. I don't have any details at this yep. point. So, so lots of stuff is happening. So, sure is. Um, assistant town administrator position, we got about 17 applications. Wow. I was counting them. I thought that we had 12. I'm putting the screening process together to begin as soon as possible. While we're on that topic, while, while you accepted the um, resignation, I believe the library director is actually retiring. Yes. yes. Um, um, so she's not resigning to go somewhere else, as far as I know. Um, they, the, I met with them to talk about the process, and I said, you know, just we have to follow the town's process. But I understand in, in the past that trustees have kind of run things. But I just I'm keeping sort of tabs on that, and I think we agreed that Sarah and I would go through the initial applications and weed out anybody that really wasn't qualified, mm -hmm. and then let the trustees uh, take the process from there. And, make sure they keep the right documents, documentation, and all of that. Okay. Um, we are all, um, okay, so there are those two. The police station roof is underway, and so are mm -hmm. our rainstorms and things. Uh, right. I believe they've discovered more rot than they, than anyone, you know, I guess more it always happens than they might have anticipated, maybe hmm. not. I, I, I was up there when they first opened up the front part, and I didn't think it was bad at all. Okay, well, that's that, not where I have know you the, been getting the, the photos? <laughs> oh, maybe yeah, somewhere they've else. been sending us photos. Um, yeah. Okay, well, happy to share that with you, but they may yeah. be submitting a change order, so I'm alerting you to that. Okay. Well, I, I I'll heard, let you know. I heard something of that, but the soffit area was part of that original. Okay, uh, anyways, so you'll be involved. Yeah, okay, all right. Um, um, the tree grant, um, you know, we had two grants in the past for inventorying, there were. Um, I'm less familiar with the first grant because I wasn't around, but the second one produced some really high quality information yes. and um, interesting information. Um, uh, Dave Purrington, who was here earlier, has volunteered and been spending time working on a new grant for us to purchase some trees Great. and do some plantings. And we're, we've met with um, Jay Miller, who is the tree yep. guy. <laughs> yep and Kevin, and we're moving forward with that. So I'd like to just, and I can just sign a letter of intent to apply, and mm -hmm. we move forward. I'll bring it back to the board for discussion you know, I just wanted to make sure um, we were um, trying to balance out, I mean, the tree inventory was, we had too many maples. Um, yes, so the, none of these will be maples. maples? Like okay. Yeah, I think we have a preliminary list. But happy to share that. You know, yeah, I just wanted well. to make sure we had like oaks that are more adaptable for climate change or I think whatever. we already have a list. If you are yes. interested, I can show no, it to no, you. No, I'm fine. No, I'm of fine. the ones that Jay and, and the problem was finding a nursery who stocked these. Um, and I asked for Cogwell, if you're going to recommend, where can we get this? So they, apparently there's a nursery in Gill that has these. It's, can I just uh, ask a question? Sure. Is there a thought to keep some sugar maples? Because oh, I mean. Oh, yeah, we have. Oh, no, we One million. No, I know, but I mean. <laughs> That just looks so. I mean, for any tree that we're planting, will will, will not be a sugar maple. I don't think on well, the list that, that I've seen. Well, that was the of the um, inventory. Uh, we had that meeting, mm -hmm. uh, inventory meeting, and the um, our tree belt is extremely healthy. Um, and and that has we had sugar good, maples. Yeah. Oh, but okay, the problem good. is we had almost like ninety percent sugar maples. Oh, okay. And, and, you then, to and mix sugar in maples some. were not. Here's a list, as a preliminary adaptive. list of, of trees. Yeah, uh, uh, sugar maples are not as adaptive to climate change going forward. You know, like if you're looking like 50 years or 100 years from now. Right, I know, but. And that's, that's the, the grant way. application isn't due for a while. This is just a letter of intent. They want to know what, what the size of the requests are. Do you want to read any of them? 
Well, no. yeah. we don't know that about the trees. I mean, you think about it, this was tropical at one time, and there's a lot of, like you said, maple trees now, so. Is that not true? I'm ready for a palm. Uh, we, I, I went palm through tree. this whole meeting. You're gonna get one. Come on. <laughs> no, I, I, yep. I mean, I do understand that, but I mean, there's a map right over there. This was quite tropical at one time, and. We're talking millions, millions of years. 20,000 years ago. No. In the late. <laughs> No, not a hundred. <laughs> so I want my grandkids to, to grow up and not have maple no, sugar. No, okay. no, I'm, right. we're not, I'm not saying so I'm sorry to start this conversation, about folks maple at sugar home. Trees. <laughs> it's just that if we were going to purchase <laughs> any trees, we needed to I get balance you. out. I, I was afraid, like, we weren't going to put any. No, no, I got no, you. No, no. Okay, I'm good. Just, we I'm just good. have to balance out our tree belts. It's just beautiful in the fall. I know. I love sugar maples. I We need our maple syrup. Yeah, That's this it. will probably right. be um, 10 to 12 trees. We have to be realistic about what a highway yeah, can accomplish because it's mm -hmm. not just about planting a tree, it's about caring for the tree yeah. and maintaining it and mm -hmm. all of that. So yeah. um, I'm very deep in the process of working with council and, and Barbara and I had a um, conference call with them over our personnel, by, our personnel policy. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm really working hard on that to, so we can transition from a bylaw-based personnel guidance document. We're woefully behind on many policies. Mm -hmm. So um, Does that you know, have to go through town meeting? No. What has to go through town meeting is reducing the bylaw. Yeah. So the bylaw is simply the committee and, um, okay. and then the policy will take effect and then it will be living so that every time there's a new change, State we can integrate it rather than having to go to town meeting and be out of compliance. Okay. Right. I, uh, it's, meeting. it's just really Many hard to update. Many towns have done this already. Yeah. We're way behind. I know we're, we're way behind. behind. But it's one of those things. Um, what else? I think the only other thing, and I always think of more, but um, mm -hmm. I'm going to be out. I'm, I Hold me to this. I'm not going to be here Friday. <laughs> yes. Hold me to this. But I'll, I will be here on Sunday. Though. No. Um, and I, I next week will be out on, I think it's Thursday or Wednesday, but I think Thursday, and I, I don't know if John Cordero is going, no, Brenda is going to the annual um, municipal law seminar DOR puts on that. Oh. I always find it extremely valuable and interesting. We learn a lot there. Is that at Holy Cross? No, it's, they have one in Danvers or something. Oh. No, yep. we, ours is in, I forget if it's in Holyoke or West Springfield oh. this year, but there's a Western Mass one. It, and I tried to go in per, just personally a few mm -hmm. years ago, um, and they were, couldn't. Oh. They were, cool. yeah. They fill up, and you. Yeah. So I've registered for that a while right. ago. Thank you. So, um, what else? Oh, we need to go into executive session. Okay. Are we there? Yeah, We're and there. I don't see any need to come back into. Uh, so if you want okay. to make those okay. motions and do that, right. I'll get that in the minutes properly. Do you want to make a motion to that? Sure. Um, make a motion pursuant to General Law Chapter 30A. Section 21A3 to consider threatening, um, threat, threatened litigation, and Section 21A1 to consider personnel matters. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Trevor Aye. McDaniel. Aye. Henry Camosa. Aye. Carolyn Ness. And we will not be coming back, back. into open session. session.